Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, why has your person been giving you the silent treatment? Why has your person been giving you the silent treatment? Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you Cancers. This is just for those of you who have been dealing with someone who has stopped communicating with you or, or you've been dealing with someone who hasn't been responding to your text or your calls or messages, then this reading is going to be for you. I'm going to see why they've been giving you the silent treatment and will they be breaking that silence and communicating with you in the near future. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. First card we have here is, why has your person been, been giving you the silent treatment? We have five of wands in reverse, the four of pentacles, the eight of wands, the eight of pentacles, the moon in reverse, the eight of swords in reverse, and at the bottom we have seven of swords. Okay. Hey, okay, one second. Just going to look at the full picture. So I am getting a third party situation energy that's coming up, that's coming through. However, even though it's coming through, I don't feel like it's a, uh, a significant factor and why this person has been giving you the silent treatment. I don't feel like this is someone who really cares about the third party, if there is one, because we do have three of cups and the three of wands, so there could even be more than one person. Like, this could be someone who has multiple options and they kind of lightly in entertain those options, or it could be just one option. But I do feel like this is someone who's not really all that invested, um, emotionally invested in the third party. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that, but in reality, I don't feel like it's a significant factor here. I do see that the main energy here is stubbornness with the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who has been very stubbornly refusing to communicate with you, even though the desire has been very strong with the Eight of Wands. Very strong desire to communicate with you. I feel like this is someone who's definitely highly attracted to you. They feel a very strong connection with you and they're very, very attracted to you. I, and like there's a lot of passion, I feel, in this person towards you. They feel very passionate. But I do see them in this energy of wanting to be closed off here, acting closed off and very defensive and guarded. This is someone who definitely has trust issues. 
very strong trust issues. And I do feel with the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who has been trying to not think about you. This is someone who has been trying to keep themselves busy and to keep themselves distracted with work or, or career or projects. In, in an attempt to, to not think about you. There might be physical distance between, uh, long distance between you two also. I do see that this is someone who has been waiting for you to chase them and who has been waiting for you to reach out to them first and um, come towards them first. I feel like this is someone who has been waiting to see if you, if you're going to, you know, I want to say erupt like a volcano, kind of, I'm kind of seeing like a volcano in my head. You know, it's like they've been waiting to see if the, if the pressure will get to you. The pressure of them, you know, um, disappearing and, and keeping you on standby or, you know, or leaving you without answers, without any clarity as to where you stand and where things are headed. I, I feel like this is someone who has been waiting to see if, if the pressure would get to you and, and you'd, you know, kind of in, from a place of impulse, um, reach out to them and call them or text them and chase them. This is someone who has been hoping to, to get a reaction out of you from them being distant and not communicating with you. You know, kind of like a sneaky strategy or, you know, t tactic that they've been playing at here. Yeah, especially with the devil here, we do have the devil and the four of cups and the six of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who has been kind of playing a little bit of a game with you. Uh, a dumb game, really. I don't feel like this is someone very intelligent. It feels like, I feel like this is someone who's just immature. and someone who's just kind of um, playing hard to get or making things difficult, hoping to, again, hoping to get a reaction out of you. I do feel like this is someone who has been feeling very unhappy with the Nine of Cups in reverse. They've been feeling very alone even if there is a third party, I see them in this energy of feeling alone and feeling um, underwhelmed and uh, unfulfilled. And this is someone who definitely feels sad to be away from you or to to, to not be talking to you, to not be communicating with you. I do feel like this is someone who feels a strong emotional connection to you um, more than they're used to feeling with other people. Because I do feel like for some of you, you are dealing with a player here or someone who has player-like tendencies. And I do feel like this is someone who 
especially with the three of cups i think i think this is someone who like keeps their options open or they like to entertain relationships with people on a very casual level i feel like this is someone who usually doesn't really take things too seriously in relationships but i do feel like this is someone who sees you as as um, an exception to that i do feel like they they care they care about you more than they would like but i do feel like this is someone who ultimately is too stubborn to admit that and to show that Okay, let's take a look now. Will this person be breaking the silence and communicating with you in the near future? Let's see. Let's see, will they be communicating with you in the near future? First card is the High Priestess in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords. Ace of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. At the bottom, Empress in reverse. So I do feel like this is someone who is going to continue in this energy of being um, closed off and stubborn. I do see them continuing to wear um, a disguise here, uh, um, a mask with the Four of Pentacles. They are conflicted because we do have the Page of Pentacles here, which is communication. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles spirit. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. So, Cancer, yeah, this person is basically... Um, standing in this energy of if you don't do anything then i'm not going to then i'm not going to do anything if you don't reach out then i'm not then i'm not going to reach out if you don't communicate then i'm not going to communicate <clears throat> sorry i feel like that's their mentality here and their attitude I do feel like this is someone who's carrying a little bit of an energy of entitlement also. I feel like this is someone who expects you to expects you to be the ones to chase them and reach out to them first. Yeah, they expect you to be the ones to um you know, be 
be the vulnerable ones instead of them. This is definitely someone who um, inside of them, what they most fear is rejection. They're scared of rejection. They're scared of looking like a fool. I feel like this is someone who has a lot of um, com complexes, yeah, inferiority complexes. Um, also, I feel like there's a little bit of a, a, of a, of a self-esteem issue also. And a confidence issue, self-confidence issue. So I do feel like this is someone who likes to hide their imperfections, what they feel are imperfections. And their vulnerabilities or weaknesses. I feel like this is someone who just wants to be seen as somebody very calm, cool, and collected. But in reality, this is someone who has a lot of um, turbulent emotions inside of them. And someone who's definitely, who definitely um, feels insecure and um, a lack of self-worth. All right. So in reality, I feel like um, this is someone who, as much as they do want to um, uh, reach out to you and reconnect with you, I feel like this is someone who's just stubbornly um, in this in this energy of if you don't do anything, then I'm not going to do anything, you know. And I don't see them breaking that that point of view or that perspective um, in the near future. Okay. That's what I see, Cancer. I hope this helped you and I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.